We're at Narimba College with O10 head teacher Dave. What are you going to be showing us next? Jason, I'm going to introduce you to the staff and how to take a reading to it from the instrument we've just levelled. This is normally a two-man process on site. Would you like to give me a hand? Love to. Bring it on. Jason, I now just want to show you some features of the staff. If you could just lower that down for me. This staff is a five-stage staff, so it has five sections to it. And you'll notice, if you wouldn't mind extending that out now, as you raise it up, it actually needs to clip in here at the back, and that, that clip is on each section of the staff. Also, you'll notice that the first section is in black, the second section is red. It alternates up the staff so that the person looking through the instrument can see that we've actually extended, in this case, the first and the second section. So that's just a check to make sure that we've extended the staff properly. Second thing is, this is an aluminium staff. If we were working near overhead power cables, it would be advisable that we were using a fibreglass staff in just in case we did contact those overhead wires. Next, this staff is graduated in what we call an E pattern. And on building sites, we tend to take a lot of measurements with this measuring tape. The tape is graduated to millimetres and that is generally the order of accuracy that we expect on most, most um, activities on site. No different to reading levels. We actually take levels in metres but to three decimal places. So we're getting down to the millimetre. Unfortunately the staff is only graduated to 10 millimetre sections. If we place the measuring tape on the staff, we can see that, for instance here, that line there is actually 800 millimetres, or 0 0.800 metres. These 10 millimetre blocks mean that is a reading of 0 0.810, 0 0.820, 0 0.830, 0 0.840, 0 0.850, 60708090 till I get to 0 0.900. But I've said we need to read to the third decimal place. So we actually need to interpolate, in other words, estimate, at what section or what millimetres we are reading when we're in one of these 10 millimetre blocks. If we're in the middle, that's quite easily. If we're in the middle of that section, that would be 0.8. 0 0.85, 0 0.855. Okay, Jason, let's go take a reading. But before we do, I'll just make you aware of a couple of things. First off, I need you to make sure the bottom of the staff is clean so that I'm getting a, an accurate reading. Secondly, when you're holding the staff, that's lovely. Keep your hands clear of the face of the staff so I can see all the graduations. And thirdly, I'm going to get you to wave the staff rocket just forward and back of vertical. I will know when you're in the vertical position, that will be my lowest reading. Because when you lay back or lay forward, my crosshair will give me a higher reading on the staff. You may not be holding it in the vertical position if you stay, if you just hold it like that, and I can't tell if you're leaning forward or leaning back. So by slowly waving the staff, I will know the lowest reading is the one I'm after. Now we're going to take a reading to the staff. Jason's placed the staff on a peg that I want to get the level of, so I'm going to look through the telescope and obtain that reading. Jason's just going to wave that staff a little bit for me, and I will know the lowest reading is the one I'm after. And my reading is... 1.372. So I'd just like to show you now where that reading is on the staff, which is about there on the staff. 1.3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 2 millimetres, 1.372. So what we've just seen here is the order of accuracy, the staff graduation, how to hold a staff, and how to take a reading. What are we going to see next? 
Jason, next I'm going to show you how to complete a two peg test to check that the level's giving us accurate readings.